when you start to actually get to know the people behind the suffering, it's very hard to walk away from that. And it's very hard not to choose to actually do what you can to make a difference. When Shannon Cedric Davis, a lawyer and mother of two, heard about the atrocities happening in Central Africa under Ugandan warlord Joseph Kony, she knew she wanted to be that difference. What made you decide to take on one of the most dangerous warlords all the way from Texas to Uganda? I had my three week old in my arms. Um, my youngest child was born and I got a news feed that a second Christmas massacre had happened and that was it, it was done. In 2010, Shannon used her human rights organization, the Bridgeway Foundation, to aid in the manhunt for Joseph Coney. Close friend, actress Kristen Bell, introduced us to Shannon and has been with her on this journey. I fell in love with Shannon instantly, A, because she's just very cool to hang out with, but B, because we had all the same priorities. Since the late 1980s, Joseph Coney and his Lord's Resistance Army were abducting children to become soldiers and sex slaves. Almost two million people are refugees of his violence. In her book, To Stop a Warlord, Shannon tells how her foundation helped train military special ops teams to find Coney and stop his army. I can't tell you how many times I got a text. Should I write a book? And I'm like, you cannot possibly be asking me this question again. Yes, your experience is so profound. Kristen, did you ever say, it's too dangerous, back off, be careful? I have said it's too dangerous, but I stopped my sentence there <laughs> because I don't think that someone with the resilience and the passion and the determination like Shannon has needs my advice on how to proceed. In 2012, a documentary about Coney went viral, and the world learned about the children Shannon was already trying to save. For nearly a decade, Shannon's mission rescued hundreds of victims and helped cripple Coney's army. What is it about Shannon's work that inspires you? I want written on my tombstone, there is no such thing as other people's children. Because there's not. Kristen says Shannon is an example of how one person really can make a difference. We pretend in this world where we're all in our own separate little house and our separate little places, we're pretending like we don't need to watch one another. And by me watching Shannon watch the rest of the world, I have gotten the greatest education I could imagine. What do you hope people receive as a message from this, especially when we think like Uganda seems so far away? My greatest hope and sort of the North Star for me is for people to recognize that there really doesn't have to be a fence around the human heart. And that might mean your mission might be in your backyard. It could be in the nation, it could be in Uganda, right?